Hello. Today we're going to learn how to add fractions with an area model, and we're going to get taught by Mr. Rice's fifth graders. So the question posed to Mr. Rice's fifth grade class was to add two fifths plus three fourths, but to use an area model. Now in school we've all learned that the key to adding fractions is they must have like units. And we've often learned make a common denominator. Um, and a lot of times you do that by multiplying the top and bottom by the other denominator. But what an area model does is it allows you to create like units um, in a picture, which is sometimes easier to understand. So when we look at this student's work, they've taken two fifths, so they took a rectangle and split it into five parts and colored in two. Then they took a different rectangle and split it into um, four parts and colored in three. Now the key from this is to then take these two rectangles and cross them. And what that does is that creates the like units of twentieths. So now my two fifths become eight twentieths. I'm counting the same thing. Likewise, my three fourths now become 15 twentieths, which allow me to have like units, which now I can add. Twentieths and twentieths are alike. So I can add them, and that gets me 23 out of 20. Um, and I know that there is one twenty uh, out of 20, and that would make three left, three twentieths left. Now, to show you how this looks with the math work, what they're actually doing is that now I've taken that two fifths and I've split it into four more pieces, which is mathematically why I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by four to create like units. Uh, likewise, I took my fourths and split it into five more pieces, multiplying by five. That also creates my like units. And again, now that I have twentieths and twentieths, I can combine them to get twenty-third twentieths, which then allows me to take out one whole, which leaves me with three twentieths. So now I'm going to let two of Mr. Rice's fifth graders explain to you how they did their work. Oh, hold on, hold on. All right, uh, so our math problem today is two-fifths plus three-fourths. So how can you do that using a model? Go ahead. You, um, you first find a common denominator. Okay, so how'd you do that? Um, you have to, um, five times four, but you have to, whatever you do, to um, this, you have to do to this, so 4 times 2 equals 8, and then 5 times 3 equals 15, so I got um, 8 twentieths uh, plus 15, plus 15 twentieths, and that equals 23 twentieths, um, and simple, um, that's over, that is over the, um, newer, er, Great. Can and, you, can um, you, um, can you explain the pictures to me real quick? Um, yeah. This is too fast, because... This is um, five, and then there's the two filled in, plus the four, and then the um, three filled in. And so what's the last one? The last one is if you put those two together, that's what would um, that's what you would make. Great. Thanks. Uh, All right, so um, how does your picture represent two fifths? Can you explain to me your left picture? Um, because this one, you have to make... You have to do five. You have to do five lines. Great. And then uh, you have to do the two. And then you have to do the two lines. So you colored in two because it's two fifths. So explain the three fourths now. And then the three fourths, you make three. You make uh, four lines, and then you make you make three. You make four lines like this, and then th three lines going down, and then you have to color. And then you have to color in the part that you shade. So that's two fifths and three fourths. But I see a lot of boxes there. How'd you end up making the boxes? two boxes just all there's a lot of different little boxes on there how do you can you explain um, where the boxes come from well because you have to try and make these two look the same so you crisscross them yes okay and where does the 8 20ths come from then the 8 20th comes from because these are 8 2 4 6 8 oh so when you cross the two fifths it made 8 20ths yes great can you explain the other one to us how do your 3 fourths become 15 20ths um it became it because it's basically like that one when you count three since you have to count it and then it goes great and so now because you have the same unit you have 20th and 20th you can add them together yes thank you very much you're welcome <laughs>